Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to the nether, and you may be wondering why. Well, I have to collect some nether skeleton... wither skeleton skulls. And use those... So that I can get... Three wither skeleton skulls are what I need. And then, I need to use those to build the wither. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be fighting the wither. But first, I actually need to get the skulls. And for that, I need to go find the nether fortress. Because that is where you find wither skeletons. Alright, I've arrived at the fortress, and there's a wither skeleton right now. Oh shoot. Even with netherite armor, this is quite treacherous. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to go all the way back around to get to those weather skeletons. Yeah, I'll check back once I've got all three. Then, then it's time to get some soul sand. You may be wondering why I just replaced a bunch of nether area bunch of the gap it's because then more wither skeletons will spawn which will make the task of getting three wither skulls easier anyways I'm gonna go back to doing that now I didn't even notice before because it wasn't in my hotbar before but I actually have collected a wither skull that means we only have one more to go yes another wither skull I already have one at home, which means we've got three. Now I think I have pretty much everything I need to fight the Wither. Except for a place to fight it. Fortunately, I have just the place in mind. Here we are, in the stronghold for the final time. I think you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fight the Wither in the end. Let's go. Alright, we gotta head up the stairs. Now my plan is to dig some space under the end portal and try to suffocate the wither under the end portal, under the portal home. So yeah, I'm gonna dig out a space and be back when I'm done. I'm gonna dig out a 3x3x3 three by three by three room inside this obsidian pillar so that I can, and I'll fight the wither in there. And I'll try to make sure it can't escape. Because that will probably make my life quite a bit easier. Alright, I've placed two of the skulls. I should have my obsidian in my hotbar so I can block that off. Three, two, one, go. And I'm gonna close it off so that I can back away, grab out my bow. And I'll hit it through the- and I should be able to hit it through this gap. Oh my goodness, it's breaking Oh my goodness, it's breaking me. Okay, it's good thing I have this bow. I'm gonna make my life quite a lot easier. I'm glad I decided to do this in the end. Right above me. because the important thing is that we won. 
Okay, I think I got the Enderman I looked at by accident. And now, we're done. We just finished. We successfully beat the Wither. Now, what exactly do we do with this Nether Star? Well, I'll give you a hint. It ties in with that Iron Pyramid we built last episode. Put it in the center, with some obsidian on the bottom, and surround it with glass. It's a beacon. We now have a beacon. And, if we put it on top of our pyramid, we'll be able to get a variety of, one of a variety of different effects. Speed, haste, resistance, jump boost, strength, regeneration, and if we have the full pyramid, we can get a more powerful version of one of these effects, or regeneration. Though I actually need one of these materials, otherwise it's not gonna actually work. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some iron. I lied, I'm actually gonna use one of my diamonds to power the beacon. Let's go put it in. Put it in, and we're gonna give ourselves speed two. And there we go. Now we run fast. Look at me go. I'm so much faster than before. Alright, so that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to hit the like button, and if you really enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!